Hello, PsyQ community. Becky Wong here from the Osaka Field Medical Affairs team. And I am super excited to be here with our Stigma Section Advisor, Dr. John Budin, to celebrate May Mental Health Awareness Month. Welcome, John. Hey, it's great to be here. Thanks for having me. So to kick off our discussion, John, why don't we start with the big question? You know, what does Mental Health Awareness Month means to you? I think mental health awareness is very important because we need to shine a spotlight on mental health issues which can be secreted away in our culture. So I think it's wonderful that we shine this light and we bring it out into the open so we can speak about it and get the treatments that we need. And what is one key thing you wish the general public was more aware of regarding mental health? Well, if I were to choose one thing, I would say that mental health conditions are very common. Um, and so I would like people to know that at the end of the day, they are not alone. I love that response. And as a provider, what is one item you wish healthcare providers were more aware of regarding mental, mental health? Well, if I were speaking to my uh, colleagues and to my fellow providers, what I would say is that mental health conditions are complicated and require treatments that are multifaceted. Too often what I hear is that some of my clinicians feel that medications alone will heal uh, psychiatric conditions. And the truth is that often other sorts of supportive things like peer support groups um, and other kinds of interventions like that are essential um, to uh, have people feel well. And my last question is around efforts in raising awareness in mental health. And I wanna hear from you, how could we all make a difference even in small ways this month and throughout the year for individuals with mental health challenges? Well, what I'd say is that every time we share our story, we are taking a small step forward towards reducing stigma that pervades our culture. And so what I would say is every time you hear someone who is sharing their story, do what you can do to listen with kindness and generosity and respect. Thank you, John, for joining us. And thank you to our listener for listening to this Mental Health Awareness Month series.